Welcome to Summoned Awesome Games, good looking people. My name is Rob, and today we'll be looking at the top five clothing details you may have missed in Animal Crossing New Horizon. Animal Crossing has always been a game about self-expression. From decorating your home the way you like, laying out the landscape, and of course, choosing your own clothing, through the new gameplay that we've seen, we've been given hints at what we can expect from the game in terms of clothing. The biggest reveal, of course, is the use of backpacks or handbags. While these add a fashionable dimension to your character outside the usual 2D printed on pattern of clothing, it may also be possible that these could be used for storage to up our inventory slots so we can carry more things, but that is not confirmed yet, but it would make sense that there would be a reason to carry them around as there seems to be different types for different situations. One thing everyone seems to be going crazy about is that animal villagers are now able to wear long sleeves before any pattern that was given to an animal resulted in it just being a basic short sleeve t-shirt. Now they'll be able to rep full coats in winter and not look like they're trying to tough out the cold, giving us a few more fashionable options for our uh, animal villagers. While on the topic of animal villagers, you might have noticed or might not have noticed as the point of this video that it seems like animals are now able to wear accessories. So you can see here, reading, got some breeding glasses on. Whether this is part of the animation for reading or it is something that we can add to our animal villages, kind of like in Pocket Camp, you could dress up your campers and give them hats and gear that they can wear to make them look a little bit more uh, how you want. It seems that would possibly leak over into New Horizons, which would make sense as each game takes from the past and adds upon it. It also looks like that we'll get full outfits that will be available as well. With a few of these characters in these trailers and directs, we have seen them sporting what look like full piece clothing. Though of course it is possible that these overalls and stuff are just two sections that match up perfectly to give a more seamless look but first impression is they look like one complete piece. And going off first impressions, you might have seen our little buddy Colton here who looks like he's sporting a cape with his outfit. Now I don't believe it, I've seen a lot of people, they seem to believe that we're getting capes. This is a confirmation of capes. We've got a little bit of red behind him, now we're getting capes. Uh, all because of Colton. Colton, what are you doing, man? But to me, it kind of looks more like the back of the shirt is just extended beyond where the rest of the shirt ends, giving the impression of a cape, not an actual extra free-flowing cape, kind of how the backpacks had their little free flow going on. But it's possible it is a cape, but I think it's acting more similar to how this shirt is with the tied up front piece actually just being an extension of the shirt with it being cut out to give the shape rather than actually being an extra 3D element upon the character. But that is the five clothing details you may or may not have missed in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let me know what clothing you're most excited about when the game launches and be sure to subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos and I will see you next time.